As the dining industry copes with pandemic disruptions, New York-based restaurant Farmers and Chefs is staying true to its name as it turns now to vertical farming to ensure a consistent supply of fresh greens for customers. Owner and chef John Leckick joins us now for a look at the process. Thanks for spending some time with us, John. Talk about the challenges that COVID-19 is presenting in the restaurant industry, specifically when it comes to sourcing fresh greens. Well, well thank you for having me. Uh, it was extremely a challenging time. Uh, for us, we started with our vertical farm just March 20th when we had to temporarily shut down our restaurant. So it gave us some time to focus on the farm. And as a chef and restaurateur, uh, it, it's really a, an amazing experience to go vertical and uh, go from the seat to the plate. Uh, it's, the supply is steady. I mean, you cannot duplicate that. You can harvest the day of serving. And... Uh, Right now, we are producing about uh, 400 pounds per month of uh, mostly greens, uh, lettuce, uh, arugula, and some fresh herbs. Well, you so know, we are self-sufficient at the moment. It's, it's wonderful. I think a lot of people are intrigued by what you're doing, and they're wondering about a potential learning curve. Um, how much insight did you have into making this work prior, and how long did it really take you to get it up and running? It was fairly quick. You know, I, I have met with, uh, with a company that... Uh, built uh, the, the, the vertical uh, farm containers, and these are soil-based, by the way, uh, in October. And we have arranged for delivery in March, and uh, already we have harvested four times. We have four fields in a container. Our size is like 20-footer, uh, so it's a smaller one that they make. And uh, it, it's also so beautiful. It, it opens up, and it's clear, and it's great for our customers. They are able to see what we are doing. It, it, it draws a lot of attention. We are actually about to open up uh, next Tuesday for outdoor dining, so we are very excited about that. Oh, and I the bet. quality of the product is amazing. You know, so. I, I, the customers, they want healthy, delicious food right now. Speak yes, to the value. Do. You mentioned something that really piqued my interest, soil-based vertical farming. Why is that what's working best for you? I, I think the, the the quality of the of the of the products of the greens is just is just amazing and uh, it's really easy to operate. You know, I didn't have much experience with it, but you know the company was really good. We had uh, uh, their experts on site, and uh, it really you know it, it, it's easy to teach my crew. Uh, my chefs are already used to it, and uh, you know it works very well. And it's something we're going to keep. And we're going to go forward with, you know, maybe in the future we will think about doing something with the mushroom salsa besides the fresh greens and herbs. So we want to go forward. We are not stopping this here. That's great. It's just one of those indirect benefits that have come out yeah. of the pandemic. So happy to hear your success story. Thank you for sharing it with us. Owner of Farmers and Chefs, John Leckick, appreciate your time.